18 Phantom, we're gonna finish off the the bomb and parts list for our 555 timer tutorial today. Um, so first thing, let's just double check what we have to do. Um, so in the hardware repository of our GitHub, you can hit wiki and then check out all team tutorials. Uh, so you can see the 555 timer circuit here. Um, just a quick reminder, our goal here is to create a flashing LED um, and the 555 timer is able to generate this, uh, these pulses to turn the LED on and off based on charging and discharging capacitor. So we have the timer itself and the IC, but we're still missing uh, these resistors, these two capacitors, and this one diode that we're actually going to flash, this LED. So let's start uh, creating those. Um, let's find a 1 kilo ohm resistor in DigiKey. So just look up resistor. We want a surface mount trip resistor. And we, we like to use surface mount components over through hole mostly because they have more controlled um, parameters. The long leads from through hole parts usually add um, inductance to your parts and um, it can change the performance. So we'll stick with surface mount for now. Um, there's a lot of different uh, parameters here that we can pick from DigiKey. So one of the few, or first of all, we want an active part. Let's figure out our desired resistance. You said it was one kilo ohm, right? Yeah. And I'm going to specify the package size. Uh, I think I want to use 0603s in this case. So that basically um, is the, the length and the width of the resistor. Uh, so these are really small surface mount ones. You can go bigger if you want, 1210, 2512. Um, they just take up space. So we'll do 0603s for now. Um, it's also good practice to learn how to solder these in real life. So uh, I always like to click in stock. And you can apply these filters. Cool, there's some resistors here. Uh, 603, 1 kilo ohm. This one is 5% precision, so it might vary a little bit. And uh, a quarter watt is pretty standard for a resistor. Um, it's actually pretty good for a resistor this size. Usually they're, they're down like 110, 116 watts. Um, again, we want to have minimum quantity of one. So one thing you can do to get rid of all these huge 5,000 ones is just enter the quantity here. Hit one, and then apply filters. Great, uh, this one looks good. Uh, one kilo ohm, 5%, quarter watt. Let's hit it and copy the part number. Back to Altium, we'll hit up our schematic libraries and we will, uh, let's delete this, this part here. There's nothing in here. And uh, we can create a new part, or a new component. Uh, actually, sorry, we'll do the part search. The part search, paste your part number, And we can grab, let's grab one that shows the unit price. This one here. And you can see the minimum quantity. Import into your library. Now here we like to get rid of the um, visibility. Uh, oh, sorry. What are you? There you go. So I just didn't double click properly. So this value we usually like to um, get rid of. So that's me, there you go. Um, so now we need to actually draw the uh, resistor symbol. Um, and if you're starting from scratch, you can you can place the pins and draw the actual resistor um, with lines if you like. Um, but what we're gonna do just cause um, we have some resources available um, from our Phantom repositories, we have a repo called Altium Libraries. Um, and we've created that to be able to have a database that our team can use. So in here we have a repo called Altium Libraries. So I'd recommend that you um, clone it and then you can check out all the parts that are in here. So 
I have it cloned already, you could see it here. So we'll just add it into our workspace for now. So open up, uh, hardware, phantom, and we'll just open up this library. So you can see um, there are a bunch of parts here, resistors, LEDs, capacitors. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just take the resistor symbol so I'm just going to copy it, control C, and then I'm going to switch back to our current library in my resistor part and copy paste it here. I did it twice. And just line it up at the start. Cool. So now I have this resistor symbol. And if I double click the description, we make sure you need to make sure to add the designator. So R question mark. So all team can automatically annotate it later. Um, in the comment, we like to put that, uh, the, for ICs, we put the manufacturer part number, for, but for resistors, you can just put one below them, one key. Cool, and those will be visible when you create the part. Now, uh, we're missing the footprint, so we'll start creating that. Um, if I go back to DigiKey, let's check out this data sheet. And hopefully it'll show us the, the dimensions of our resistor. So, Part number, here are the sizes. So we have an 0603. Um, and this is like an imperial inch, but it's pretty standard for resistors. So 0603, and we're given the length, the width, the thickness, um, and also the length of these little exposed um, pieces of the resistor level solder. So now that I know these, I'm gonna go back to Altium, get to our footprints. And we'll do the same thing we did to create the SOIC. We'll just go to IPC compliant footprint wizard. Next, and we want a chip this time, just two pins. And it looks something like this. Uh, super standard for capacitors and resistors. There will be a little drop down where we can select one. And so if this was, this were the capacitor footprint, the resistor one changes very slightly. They're almost the same. Um, and we always like to generate this step model preview. So you can see it's an actual resistor here. Length, let's go back. 1.6 plus or minus 0.1. So minimum 0.5, Body width range, W. 0.8 plus or minus 0.1, so 0.7, 0.9. Bandwidth range, T. Uh, this is A in our case, so let's see, 0.3 plus or minus 0.2, so 0.3 plus or minus 0.2, 0.5, and then maximum height, A, that's T in our case, uh, so that's 0 0.55, 0 0.55, 0 .5. oh, pretty good looking resistor, the next, Nothing, nothing crazy here. These are all pretty standard. Use calculated footprint. Calculated silk screen. And make sure this is checked. And we're also going to put it into our footprints for a 555 tutorial. So next and finish. Great. So this exists now. Um, it's also nice to have a little silk screen around it, just so we have a bounding box on our PCB. So what you can do is to um, make sure we're in the top overlay tab and place some lines let's just go around the mechanical outline this is a kind of a little thick you can see so if we hit tab you can decrease the width maybe 0.1 mm pretty good let's go here and then to exit this command i'm going to right click right click again and we're good so let me just rename it i'm going to call it um, resistor 0603 Control S to save. And if we go back to our schematic library, um, we can now add the footprint. So we'll do browse and then make sure we're in our footprints library and R0603 is waiting for us. So we can also see in the description, just to make sure, yeah, this is the 0603. So this is good. Let's, uh, let's push this up to Git so we can track it. Status, yeah, we've modified these parts and also our history is changing. 
Um, if you'd like, you can add a, a git ignore file to basically um, not track this history folder because it ends up being really annoying because it changes on its own, always um, tracking the history. Um, and since we're tracking and, and controlling our versions in uh, GitHub, it doesn't help that much, um, but it's up to you. Let's add all of them for now. Check here. And commit uh, added molecular ohm resistor to library. Great. Let's push it up. Awesome. Let's do the same quickly with uh, a one, uh, a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So I'm going to go back change this resistance filter that I set before. I'm going to exit, but I keep everything else the same. And I'm going to re-specify this as 10 kilo ohms because that's what we need from our uh, x -quatic. Great, that's uh, my filters. And since we already created the schematic symbol for resistor, and we're gonna pick a resistor with the same footprint and no 603 resistor, um, we can save a lot of work here. So if I want it to be consistent with the same manufacturer, I would I would select our own semiconductors, but I can see that Susumu um, is creating a much cheaper part, although it can handle much less power. So depending on your application, you need to be careful here. Uh, 116 watt is a lot less than what a quarter watt, um, but we're, we're not running very high currents through um, our circuit, so you can probably get away with the cheaper resistor here. Let's go to click it. Copy the part number, back to Altium. Again, we're going to create a new part through part search. Copy paste search. We'll do one that shows the unit price because those usually have minimum quantity of one. Right click, import. Awesome. So again, we don't like this part number to show up, so we'll get rid of it. And then we're going to steal our symbol. Copy paste. Right here. Now, designator, CNC4, R, question mark and then 10k for the comment. Awesome. 